Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. I'm glad that you stopped by today. Today I'm working on an altered playing card and this is a challenge by the Blushing Mint here on YouTube. She has a challenge each week. It's hashtag TBM 2024 Full Deck Challenge. She has two prompts each week. This week is Enjoy and Emboss. So something that makes us think of enjoy and then we need to emboss. We can dry emboss or we can heat emboss. I believe I'm going to dry emboss something. I've got most of my embossing folders here in this little container. I have a few that aren't in here but surely I can find one in here that I'll use. Um, I don't think I'm going to heat emboss. So I've got my card out here and I enjoy my lovely scrapbook pages. I love gnomes and the mushrooms and I have not used this yet. I've had this for months. I've, um, if you watch my scrapbooking videos, you know that I've been having a lot of trouble scrapbooking since my husband's accident. I don't know. I just have been having blockage with it. I have not been able to. I've been doing it in small doses. Um, since the new year, I've been doing little six by six or project life and that's helping. But I really enjoy my, my fun little um, scrapbook kits. So I pulled this one out because I love it. It makes me smile. It is so darn cute. So this card's going to look a little different than my usual vintage style. And that's okay. So we're going to take it out. I have no idea what I'm going to use out of here. I'm just going to take it out and we're going to see. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. And it's really super cute. I hope they have it still because if they do I'm gonna buy it again. I mean they're only like what $6.99 and if you're going that one at half off $3.50 you can't beat it. I, the papers are really thin but I don't care. If I um if I make them into a 12 by 12 I just have cheap I get the cheap white cardstock. It's not even textured and I glue it I glue one of these on there and then it doesn't matter. So um, we've got some adorable stickers. We've got these. We've got some die cuts here that we'll get out. Um, take my little thing here. We'll put them in here. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh, they're pretty. They're pretty. They're pretty. I, their die cuts are so nice and they're really nice weight. Ooh, 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 look. Lucky, lucky. Uh, I was hoping that would be smaller because that was something I was looking at the. Um, maybe there's one on the sticker sheet. These guys are way too big, too. Ah, that's too big. Well, maybe not. Maybe if I just make it a purple. But we'll see what's on the sticker sheet, too. These all might be. Not all, but a lot of them might be just too big. These mushrooms. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, look. And you can change their hats if you want to. I love, love, love these bees. The hats are cute. Kind of destroyed that little bag, I think. These butterflies. Look at the colors of these butterflies. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll stick these back in here so I don't lose them. The ones I really like are on the top. <laughs> Look at the beards. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was wondering what size the frames were. Nobody like you. A happy and you know it. Life is like a fairy tale. Okay, so I will set these all up here. Might have to stick with the stickers, I guess. Okay, so... Oh, there's a gnome in a wheelbarrow. Um, I guess I'll just turn this over. This is the one thing, though, that makes it really hard to get these things out of here. Oh, they're clear. I'll take that out so that... Here's the stickers. 
So yeah, I'll probably use a sticker, and I might put it on white paper to put it on there. It depends. Okay, so let's get the paper out and pick out my papers. Oh, there's quite a few papers in here. Usually there's not that many papers in one of these. All right. So we have this one. Okay, that might be a good background. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Oh, yes, that's cute. Oh, oh I love that one. This is beautiful. That could be a good background. Hmm. I might use that as the background, actually. I think I might. And then we can add to it. We'll put that one on first. And maybe that could be my embossed one. Yes, let's emboss that one. Um, let me... This is 3 by 4 right? No, 2 and a half by three and a half so let's do three by four just to you know have enough meat in the middle there. I'll have to use my scissors. But that's okay. That doesn't have to be perfect. I just like to make it straight so the next time I use that it's got a straight edge and not my wonky cutting because I don't know what I'm going to do with it next, you know. Um, I put it about right there. I've got part of this flower and these flowers. So I glue it on the card right there. So I'm going to put a pencil mark around that. But that's about where I want to lay my card. Whoops. I want it to be straight, but that is the general area that I want my card to be. Okay, so let's see. Um, I don't want any of these top ones, but I've got some beautiful um, flower things in here. That one I think is too much, but... Um, I've got an Anna Griffin one in here. I've got this one, but that might be too much. The one I'm thinking of is an Anna Griffin. Oh, maybe it's a bigger one. That one's a pretty one. I don't know if you're able to pick up on... Maybe it's one of these big ones. It's just got a really pretty design. It's on the bottom. Why wouldn't it be on the bottom? This one. Can you see that? I don't know. Let me um, put this like this. And maybe, does that bring that design out for you at all? I think that's what I want to use. Well, I'll leave those out. This one's really pretty too, though. Hmm. That almost looks like snowflakes, though. But oh, I wish you could tell me. Maybe this one, because this one's looser, and that I think I'll go with this one. 
Nothing like changing my mind, huh? Okay, let's get this in here. Okay, I'll be right back. Base. I should have my base ready. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. I can't use my magnetic base. I have to get a different one. Gorgeous. Okay. Put my machine back together here. I have my Sizzix on the top of my Rascog, one of my Rascogs. And um, I like to keep everything put back together just the way I had it so that I don't end up losing anything any of my plates or, or or heaven forbid my bases those things are expensive but um, I uh, I really needed a different base because um, all I had was the magnetic base and so I couldn't use my embossing folders or anything and when I tried to emboss for several years I think it was because I had been still using the original and the original plates with my cuddle bug and they were in horrible horrible shape but you couldn't buy them anymore cuddle bug quit making them you know and so anytime I tried to emboss with my cup bug um, it just shredded the paper. It was awful. You, you know, I tried wetting it. I tried doing all that stuff. Came out terrible. Which I can now emboss with my cuddle bug because I found new plates and it all embossed beautifully now. But um, that's beside the point now. Um, I um, I needed it, and you may laugh. And that's okay if you laugh. It's, it's fine. If you don't believe this stuff, that's fine. I'm not trying to shove anything in your face or anything. I'm just telling you a story. I, I needed it. And I felt like it was something that I could really use. But yet, I didn't want to spend the money on it. And um, I was like, okay, I'm going yard settling today. And Lord, I really, really could use that Sissix um, plates or some cuddle bug plates. I get to this yard sale, and y'all, she had a stack of plates, and she had about $10, and there was even some dies in there, like the thick dies, the, the Sizzix dies. She had about $10, it was about this high, and there is the plate I needed. There's, um, there's this thing in there, this thing that I needed so that I can emboss and do all that. Uh, yeah, that was in there. And, and look how nice. And I've used and used this. I got this last spring. I've been using this from last spring. And it looked brand new. She had a big shot too. I didn't need the big shot. I called a friend that did and told her about it. But she had it. Marked $25. I wish I would have known that the art center was coming to town. And she'd need one. I would have bought it for her. But I didn't know the art center was coming to town at that point. Um, and there was brand new cuddle bug plates in there too and there was plates for this thing too and there was long plates too I mean and there was dies there was everything in there it was all marked ten dollars now come on <laughs> how much more set up could that be and she didn't even have a cuddle bug <laughs> but there was cuddle bug plates in there brand new cuddle bug plates it was all marked ten dollars. You guys. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> I mean I could believe it, but I was just like, oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> so anyway, after my story, I'm going to take my um 
ruler here by Tim Holtz ruler and I'm that's about right where I want that card to be so I'm going to mark that so that I will get this on here straight and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use um, a different color or something um, I got this blue right here cuz I, I if I use my pencil I'm not gonna know which mark is which but it, isn't that something There we go. I got back to my car and I was just like, oh. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, so I'm covering up the whole card. <coughs> well, I didn't show you. There is how it looks. And I will show you the back because oftentimes it's easier to see the embossing from the back. Isn't that a beautiful emboss? I think it's beautiful. That is an embossing folder that one of my friends gave me. Um, she's given me so many things. She inherited a lot of stuff and it's, a lot of it is stuff that she had. And so she shared those things between me and another friend. Our, uh, the um, lady that runs the art center, she calls us the Three Musketeers. And I'm missing the Three Musketeers since winter's got here. We haven't been together much at all. I had a lot of illness and it's just been downright freezing cold and bad weather. Okay. So... Since I marked it, I know where I want it, what area I want it, and I've got my straight line, so that'll help me with the pattern, I guess. Um, you know, it really doesn't matter as much, I guess, because it's an overall pattern. I, I don't want to push too hard on the other side because I'll lose my embossing. That wouldn't be any fun on this side to get the glue spread out. I don't want any lumps of glue on the other side. With that embossing on there, it kind of thinned out the paper and it will really, really show if I have big lumps of that glue. That is so pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let me get my scissors. So how are you guys doing this winter? Are you making it through okay? I know, um, I was just watching a couple days ago, I was watching, um, Barbie at, um, Nellie and Ruth, and she had a beautiful, beautiful one of her crossword puzzle videos, and she was talking about the winter blues. What's she call them? Dol doldrums, I think she said. I don't know if I've ever heard it. Doldrums. I liked it though. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's Nellie and Ruth, and you should go over and watch it. It was a lovely page, and she talked about it. Um, but how are you all doing? My husband's having a hard time this year. He's. He's got cabin fever bad. <laughs> um, he's always been a very outgoing person, and he's always, always, always worked at least 50 hours a week, sometimes a lot more than that, especially depending on the time of the year. Now, this time of year, maybe 40 to 50, you know, this time of year, maybe not quite so many, but at least 40, <laughs> at least. He's always been a hard, hard worker. And he's always worked with the public. Always with the public. Well, when we first got married, he worked for Allied Band Lines. So I guess that's with the public. But also, it's quite a few hours on your own, too. Um, getting from place to place. But, um, 
you know, you're still seeing people. Um, but he's always been a very, very people person. Always a very much people person. And so since his accident, um, it's, it's been really hard. Now last year, you know, he was still really healing, really, you know, things were still really tough for him. He was, he was still feeling pretty, pretty rough. Um, this year, you know, he'd like to get out. <laughs> And so this is hard on him, but we have to be very careful, you know, with the wheelchair and then him transferring from the wheelchair to the van and back and forth and stuff. And then we have to consider if I've got the ramp clean and we go somewhere, what is the ramp going to be like when we get home? You know, is it going to be safe when we get home? Um, that kind of thing. I would love to use that. I'm not sure though. And I think I'm not going to use the ones with the gnomes on it because I think I'm going to use one of these gnomes. So let's see if I can use some of this. So this has been a really, really rough year for him. This is his first winter of feeling. Feeling so disabled, you know. Um, it's really rough on him. Okay, so how do I want to use this? Okay, I'm going to turn this this way. Um, maybe, I, I worked hard to get that on there, but maybe just tear some and put it here. I know I do that a lot, but I do like that, how that looks. Um, I think I will tear this corner here, or tear here, and try to uh, get this, but I don't know how I could do that, because I'd have to, I was thinking about trying to get that B in it, I would like, well here, I'm going to waste some paper here. That's okay. Because I'm going to Hobby Lobby Tuesday. And I'm going to check this out and see if I can get some more. Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? Ah, nuts. Okay. send this tear up. I need to do some work on that tear, but because I need it to be more like like that. And then it's going to go to there. Right there. Okay, and then don't want it to start until, okay, I'm going to put it right there, that's where it's going to go, and then let's get, um, it's going to go right there, and right there. Can you see what I'm doing? No, you can't. Let me scoot up. I'm going to move my stuff. Okay, so... I have it where I want it. I've wasted some paper, but that's okay. I have it where I want it. Okay, so I have it on here. Exactly where I want it. Let's 
is where I want it to start, is right here. And then I'm taking my my uh, little bone folder here, and I'm going like this. So that tells me where I want to cut it. And I'm just going to take my scissors, because I don't want to cut all the way down here. I mean, I've already wasted enough of this paper. That's what I want. And, oh, I want to ink up the edge of this a little bit. And I'm using my watering can today. I'm not going to be distressing huge, just a little bit. Very little compared to what I usually do. Just knocking off that little edge there. Um, not real happy with that though. Let me see if I can. I don't like how I tore that right there. I didn't notice it topped or I inked it. Okay, let's see if I can. Anyway, he's having a hard time. Um, there is a, a transit system here. We live in a very rural area. So there really isn't like transit bus systems like a lot of people, you know, like you would think of in other areas. But there is a bus system for disabled or for senior people. Um, it's kind of hard to catch a ride on it because it can only take so many people a day but he did get on it um, this past week one day and he went in to his old um, workplace because he used to work for his best friend they, they've been best friends for many years his parents took him on for a while as kind of one of their their kids and he, he spent lots and lots of time there at their house and um, he went and spent the day there, got to chat with him and everybody that came in, got to see old friends and stuff. So he spent a few hours there, but that's really hard on him because then that means he's in his wheelchair all day. And um, did I get that all the way to the edge? Barely. Uh, so that means the next day he's usually in bed for <coughs> most of the day because he's hurting so bad but he finds it worth it to do that ever so often because he just has to get out and we've had such horrible horrible weather that we we hadn't well we, we haven't even been able to go to church this month January is gone and we haven't been able to go to church we didn't get to go today because he was sick. Um, his accident was a really, really horrible, horrible accident, and it left him with an ostomy. And he was having some bad problems with it today, and we couldn't go. They did not think he would live because it totally tore up all of his insides. His bladder exploded from the impact. Do not travel with a full bladder. That's all I'm going to say. That is what his surgeon told us. That is one of the most dangerous things that you can do is travel with a full bladder and a seat belt across your middle. That's my PSA. <laughs> had no idea, no idea such a thing could happen, but it's true. He was only about um, 15 miles from home and thought, oh, I can wait till I get home. But he, it almost killed him because of that. And then his whole, all of his guts were completely shredded. It, it was bad. Um, okay, now, I, I, isn't that pretty? That is beautiful. 
that makes me enjoy right there just looking at that so I think I think these are stickers these are stickers right or are they robots is it real or is it Memorax <laughs> so you are going what <laughs> oh, what are these are they stickers or robots <laughs> where's the thing that tells you <laughs> I have a the die cut shapes sticker sheets. It says they're stickers. Okay, well, ah! oh, just dropped all that on my floor. I can't reach it. Okay, I really like that gnome place. If I did that and then put a gnome up here, would that look silly? Or what if I just put a gnome? I really like, I really like the gnome place like home. Home. I love being home. Huh? But I really think I need to put on white. Let me get some white paper. I just happen to have some white paper. know how these come off of here. Oh, there, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, let me see. Yeah. I think. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. I don't know. I think I'm gonna put it on white paper and cut it out. Okay, let's do this real quick, like. But I also, for many years, worked in the ER, and we had a, um, a unit in, a, in our ER. I saw a lot in this time of year. It's so hard on people. I saw a lot. And so when the unit was full, the extra room was across from my desk. And so I would be watching people quite a bit. And it just would break my heart what people would be going through. But never be ashamed to go get help. I've had to go get help. I've been through a lot of crazy things in my life. First off, I was given away when I was three weeks old. And when you get old enough to realize that your mother kept you for three weeks and then just gave you away, that messes with your mind right there. Especially after you have your own babies and you look at your three week old baby and you're like, what? How do you do that? Then when you meet her and you find out the selfish reasons why, you're like, oh. okay, well then. Everything in me wants to get that stuff out of there. That everything in me is screaming is just a playing card, Gina.
but I don't think I can leave it there. <laughs> Are you like that? That stuff doesn't seem to be easy to cut through. Holy cow. I don't know. My knife does not seem to be cutting through it. It seems to be shredding it. Okay, I got the plastic off. Now maybe I can cut through. Maybe this was not a good idea. Well, I got one piece off. That plastic's not easy. Oh, my not my thing's coming out. I have a hard time getting it tight. strength in my wrist is just not there. I don't have strength anymore. I should have my my uh, things on. I have gotten away from wearing those. They bug me. They feel good, but yet I don't know. I should be wearing them. I have an appointment with my rheumatologist next week. He'll say, have you been wearing your splints? Yes. Yes, I have. One more big one and then I'll quit. Oh my goodness. You wouldn't think that that plastic would be so hard to cut through. Ooh, what about bent that leaf? will work. Okay, so put that there. And that will work. Oh my god, I cut this leaf. Sorry. Okay, I like that a lot. There we go. Now, if I took um, a gnome and put this little gnome guy up here, would that look silly? I think it would. So maybe just some flowers. And I think the flowers can go on without being on white paper. So let's put this guy down. There was something back there. It looks like it, but I can't even feel it, so I guess it's not back there. I 
put it up high enough you can tell there's a butterfly there. And then I'm going to attempt to peel these flowers off of here. go further down than I thought. Yeah, those look pretty. And I want to be in those flowers. I like the bees. <laughs> and then down very good is it look at the smaller glue are the leaves stuck down they don't look like it but maybe they are oh they are okay I didn't think they were Let you cut this off and cut that off and And then, um, I was thinking about one of the mushrooms. Oh, here. Here's a single mushroom. We'll put the single mushroom right there. Now, let me get... try this little thing. <laughs> okay, that went flying. I didn't have room for my eyelets and everything else, so I had to wait. I can use one of my pretty eyelets today. I don't have to try to find a vintage looking eyelet. That's cool, huh? I could use one of my heart eyelets that I said I'll never use. I'll never use all those. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I got pink or white. Let's use the pink. Let's use this pretty pink heart eyelet. Just because uh, what uh, what else am I going to use it? That pink don't really match. I don't know when else I would use all those. I don't know when I would use them. But I'm not getting rid of them. <laughs> okay. Oh, thing. oh, I found the other one. This is the thing I was telling you. This is by Timeless Touches is what these things are by. This one, I've never used it. But they're made so that you can make designs with your eyelets on your... It's an eyelet placement template and you can make designs and it's got um, timelesstouches.net I don't know if they're still around but um, that's what they were made for so that you could make little designs or lines or whatever and they would be straight with your eyelids but I use this one a lot because what I loved about this one why I got this one is it's got the stitches so that you can make stitches in your project but then it also had the eyelets. That's why I had this one. And I loved this thing. I used it all the time. 
and I used to, I would go up the, um, there was a little scrapbook store here for a while. Those were the days when we had a scrapbook store. <laughs> Um, and they weren't very expensive. They were under a dollar. And I would buy those and send those at Happy Meal. Happy Mail. I always say meal somehow. I, I'm saying mail, but it sounds like meal. <laughs> okay. It's on the right setting. Oh. But I would send those out in Happy Mail. Because I just thought they were so cool. Uh, we're talking early 2000, late 90s, early 2000. I found a thing the other day was I looking through my old something and anyway it told me I started scrapbooking in um, 1995 I never could quite remember I don't remember what I was looking at an old journal or something all right there we go and here's my thing let me hold this up for you totally different right but I got to enjoy some scrapbook paper and stickers that I bought quite a while ago and haven't used I mean quite a while ago I don't know if they'll still have this collection when I get there I hope they do well I hope that you are having a very blessed day and I will be seeing you soon thanks for stopping by my channel bye, -bye.